All right, so in October of 2024, Epic Games released the Fab Marketplace in an effort to replace the Quixel Megascans library and the Quixel Bridge app, along with things like the Unreal Engine Marketplace and all of that. And of course, this really, really complicated things for us Unreal Engine users. And now, while we can still use the old method with the Quixel Bridge app, at least for the time being, where we use Quixel Bridge inside of Unreal to add all of our assets to our project, just like we've been doing. There is a new way to do it now that we have Fab. Now, of course, we are going to need to go in and add the Fab plugin to our Unreal Engine installs, and then we will be able to start using the plugin inside of Unreal. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to do that. First thing, let's have a look at the new marketplace. So we come here to fab.com and you'll see if you go up here to my library, we'll now find everything that we purchased from the Unreal Engine marketplace, as well as our Quixel Megascans assets that we've actually added to our library. Now, the big question and the big problem a lot of people have with this is how do you actually find the Quixel assets now? Well, what we have to do is we're going to come over here to discover and then I'm going to come up here to the search bar and I'm going to type in Quixel. Now, right off the bat, it gives us some stuff that we'll see showing up here. Uh, it's not really categorized very well. Some of it is Quixel, but also some of it is not. This is going to find anything that has Quixel in the name, the description, the tag, anything like that. So this might not all be Quixel stuff. Another thing that we can do, though, is when we search Quixel, we can come here to creators and then we'll see up here Quixel as an actual creator. So we'll click on this and then we can come in here and we can see all of the assets that Quixel has in here and from this point we can start to come to click on things like materials and textures for example now we can see all of these materials that we have in here now of course if we were to say click on one of these like this desert outback ground we're gonna see some things in here we're gonna see you own this item if you've done your claim all where you're able to claim all your mega scans the entire library for free as long as you do it before the end of 2024 but you'll see download and you'll see add to my library now you actually have to click on the add to my library for it to show up in your library. So now when I come up here to my library, I can see here is my Quixel asset that I've added to my library. And even though I have claimed and own the entire Quixel Megascans library, it doesn't show up in here. It's only going to show up when you come in here and you click to add it to my library. So now I look at this and if I were to click on download, we'll see all kinds of options in here. And none of this is actually useful for when you're trying to use it inside of Unreal. It's great if you want to download the raw texture and use them that way. This makes it more difficult to use in Unreal because you would have to actually drag and drop import these. So the better way to do that inside of Unreal is to do it with the Fab plugin, which is out now. But how do we get that? Well, you actually have to install the plugin. So to do that, to install this plugin, we need to go to the Epic Games launcher. Now over here, if you go to the Fab tab, you're going to see basically just a button that says start exploring. This is just going to link us out to fab.com website. What we need to do is we need to come to library over here and we need to make our way down to our vault section, which they are now calling the fab library. Now this year we need to make sure that filter by category, we're going to leave it to all. You click in here, things are going to go off. We're just going to click the all button, make sure we can see everything. Come to the search bar here and you type in fab. And what you'll see is this fab UE plugin. Now this right here, we can see that it can be installed for 5.3, 5.4 and 5.5. So if you're using 5.2 or earlier, you're going to have to use Quixel Bridge. So that right there tells me that Quixel Bridge is still going to stick around for a while. So you will still still be able to use it, assuming that you have already claimed and added things to your library. But for the new method with Fab, we're going to need to click on this install to engine. And I already have it installed to my 5.4. So I'm going to go ahead and install it to the 5.3 now. So we'll do that. We'll click install. We'll let that happen. And now once that's done, I can go ahead and open up my Unreal Engine project. Then once it's open with the plugin installed, we can come up here to window and we're going to come down and we're going to find Fab right here. We click on this to open it up and then we're going to see the Fab 
fab marketplace UI right here. And right in our face, it's going to show us a bunch of stuff that it wants us to buy, or it's going to show us some stuff that it wants us to add for free. But if we come over here to the hamburger menu on the left, this is where we're going to find our sections. So we have a discover section, and then we have a my library section where we can find all the things we've added to our fab library, which anything you've gotten from the marketplace is immediately going to show up here. You can see this Quixel material that we added earlier from the website is right here. So I click on this and what I can do now is I can come over here. I'm going to come to my content browser. I'm going to go to settings, come down here and change my thumbnail size to small so I can see things here a little bit better. We can see in this project, I have my old Megascan stuff with my surfaces here and my MS presets, which have the master materials for the old Megascans. But in here, if I were to add this to project, it's going to bring it in here and it's going to add it to a new folder. So I go back up to content and we had our mega scans folder with our old stuff. The new folder is going to be called fab. Then inside of that, you're going to find mega scans. And then inside of this, here's my surfaces. Here's my desert outback. Medium was the quality. And I can see this material instance right here that has all of this stuff in here. And one thing that you'll note that has changed from the old Quixel mega scans way of doing things is their mask textures are now the industry standard ORM, ambient occlusion in the red channel, roughness in the green, metalness in the blue. The old ones used to have displacement in the blue channel, which also put you in a situation where a lot of your mega scans materials did not actually have a metalness value to them. So they weren't really true unreal PBR. Now, if I wanted to get an actual 3D asset here, let me move that out of the way. We're going to click this little back button in our plugin here. Here I am in my library. I've got some things that I have added here. Let's go ahead and X out of the my library for the search results here. I'm going to type in Quixel up here to the search bar. We're going to come down here to creators just like we did on the website. And then from here, I'll go to Quixel. And on this, we're going to have a bunch of stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and then click on 3D models, which is going to filter down to the 3D models. And we're going to have some categories here. So let's say we'll go into nature and plants, and then we can dial down into, we'll say, trees right here. And now we can see these full trees. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Nordic forest tree trunk right here. I'm going to click on it. And then we're going to have some options in here. We can see once again, you own this item because I did claim them all from the easy way to claim all of these assets for free with just a couple of button clicks. There's another video for that. But on this, I'll leave it at medium quality here. I'll go ahead and click add to project. We'll see that it downloads. It imports. Once again, it puts it in the fab Megascans folder, but now we have 3D in addition to surfaces. So here in 3D in this, I have my quality level. So what I can now do is drag this out into the map. And now here we are, we have this tree stump with the new setup pulled in from the fab plugin using the new ORM textures, and we should be good to go from here. And there we go. There you have it. That's how we can start using the fab plugin in place of the Quixel Bridge plugin to get these Quixel assets inside of Unreal.